Did you know that pet rabbits can be litter trained just like cats? To have your pet rabbit litter trained in no time, follow these simple tips. Provide your rabbit with a small cat litter box with low sides and no top. Use unscented recycled paper as litter. There are several commercially available brands. Do not use clay-based or clumping litter as this may be harmful to your rabbit's respiratory system. Place just a thin layer of litter at the bottom of the litter box. Rabbits like to eat hay while they do their business. To help get them used to their litter box, place a small amount of hay in the litter box over the litter or right next to the litter box and make sure to clean up any mess as soon as you notice it. It's easiest to develop good litter box habits if you first confine your pet rabbit to a smaller area. Once your rabbit is consistently using the litter box, you can gradually expand the area. If your rabbit stops using the litter box once they have more space, simply limit their space once again until they're back in the habit. We received some great questions about rabbit care on Facebook that we'd like to answer. Nancy asks, what's the best food to feed my rabbit? Well, the key ingredient in any rabbit's diet is fresh hay, and this should be readily available for them to chomp on at all times. You can include pellets and fresh vegetables, but only in small quantities, such as celery, broccoli leaves, basil, and whole carrots, including the tops, in your rabbit's diet. You can switch up the vegetables every other day for a bit of variety. Our last question was from Janet. She asks, how do I get my bunnies to trust me when picking them up? We suggest getting down on the ground at the rabbit's level and playing with them there. Get them used to being petted, snuggled, brushed and cuddled. Speak quietly and soothingly to your rabbit and make sure to interact with them as much as possible on their level. When you pick them up, always make sure to support their forequarters with one hand and their hindquarters with the other. When picking them up, never restrict the movement of their hind legs as the damage to their back can be serious or sometimes even fatal. Thank you to everyone who submitted questions. For more pet care tips, please visit our blog at www.ospcablog.ca.